What's up? In this video, I'm going to tell you why I run zip ties on my brakes. I'm running my Gura MT7 brakes. Now, these brakes are really good. These are probably the best brakes I've ever used. I really do miss my HS33s, and I still have them on my other bike. And what I really liked about them was you could squeeze the lever as hard as you wanted to, and you wouldn't be able to pull it into the bars. So I was just used to that with my fingers. And with the disc brakes, they were a little bit softer. They were, they were really strong, but the lever, you know, they were easier to, if you really tried to pull them in. So I was just used to being able to pull them as hard as I wanted to. And I found myself always cutting my fingers on the levers because they were getting pulled in too far. So that's one thing that really annoyed me. So I was trying to eliminate that. So since I don't have my HS33s anymore, I tried to think of a way that I could make my brakes feel like the HS33s. And the way I came up with was using zip ties. Now, these brakes have adjustment points on them. They have this little dial over here, and they also have a little, like, little set screw kind of thing uh, that where if you tighten or loosen it, it adjusts the reach of the lever. I just never was able to find a way to properly get the actual lever to feel like the HS33s to where it would just you know, come in just a little bit and stop and not be like a mile away from my finger to be able to get that feeling. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So this is what I came up with. Basically, it's two large size zip ties. Um, you can see the first zip tie goes around the front and then the other zip tie goes around the rear and they're kind of attached to each other. And then I have another set of two zip ties going across. So I'll explain the main portion of this first, which is the large zip tie. So like I said, it has this adjustment here. It has this adjustment right here that if you screw it in, the lever will move further away. And if you loosen it, the lever will move further in. So ideally, I want to be able to tighten this and have the lever not move, but just change how soon it engages and technically like this is supposed to help with that but honestly like this doesn't really do anything noticeably so that's kind of useless I honestly like you could spin that any way you want and it doesn't really feel any different really the main thing that you want that I found that actually does something is this screw but it doesn't do what I want because when it engages where I want it to the lever is set way too far from the bars and I can't reach it with my finger, it doesn't feel right. So what I did was these zip ties, I ran them through this little hole in the lever here to hold them in place where I want them to be able to tighten this screw and have this not move out because the zip ties are holding the lever in this position. So I can tighten this screw and it'll push this piece in here, it'll push this piece further into the piston but it, the zip ties prevent the lever from moving outwards. So it does exactly what I want to and just pushes this in further to compress the fluid in there a little bit more to make them engage sooner and feel tighter rather than coming further in having the lever in here or having the lever be all the way out here to get it to engage at this point. So basically all that the zip ties are doing is they're just holding the lever in this in this place right here so that I can tighten this without the lever moving. Hopefully that makes sense. And I did the same thing to the other side. And I did nothing to the calipers. The calipers are still the same. Now, this portion across here, like this was kind of just doing it a bunch of times and kind of learning to see how the zip ties stayed and what worked the best so that you didn't pull this in and have it get stuck here because the zip ties got caught on something. I noticed that when I would do that with, when I didn't have this holding this portion in place, uh, when you would squeeze it in, this would move to the side and get caught on the master cylinder up here and then it would get stuck in that, po in that position, which isn't good. So what I did was I just wrapped this around here, tightened it up to keep this in place. So that's why that's there. And that's pretty much it. So I hope that that cleared up any confusion for why I run zip ties. If they come out with brakes that pretty much does the same thing that the zip ties do, except like in a manner that doesn't include wrapping these plastic things that look kind of cheesy on here, 
like I would love to use it, but I just haven't found brakes that feel the way I like them to feel, so I just had to do it like that. So now that that's cleared up as to why I run zip ties on my brakes, I know I haven't really posted any videos of me riding lately just because the weather's been really cold and with the holidays. I did actually film some stuff, but I didn't really want to post it because it wasn't really that long and I wasn't really that, you know, into riding in the video and it kind of shows a little bit. So I'm going to put that clip in right now. What's up guys? It's time to ride again. I actually have to rush right now because it's about to snow outside and I only have a couple hours to ride and it's dark outside. So I'm gonna get my bike ready now and we're about to go for a ride, so let's do this. Let's go. I don't know how warm it is, but it's really cold. Okay, the cops kicked me out, so I have to leave. All right, so for some reason tonight I'm getting kicked out of all my spots. So I'm gonna try to get this really fast, and it's dark, so first try would be ideal. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. While it is short and dark, it's really cold. I hope you guys liked it. Hopefully it doesn't snow too much so I can film more. I know I haven't filmed that much just with the holidays. I was super busy. Just kidding. Busy? I don't do anything. Pretended to be busy. Yeah. So, make sure to like the video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't to get the latest updates of whenever I upload videos. And let me know in the comments the videos you want me to see next. Maybe something I could do inside if it's snowing or bad weather just give me some ideas of stuff you want to see and peace out